Hey guys, Lucas here from T-Rex Arms. So today I'm gonna to be answering the question that I get a lot, which is, what handgun do you trust the most? And what handgun can you trust right outside of the box for concealed carry? You buy it, you grab it, load it, put it in your holster, and you are good to go. And there's only one handgun in my opinion that I can do that with, and if you guess that's a Glock, you would be correct. So I have here a brand new Glock 17. This is a Gen 4 with the gray frame, not that the frame color matters. And you might be wondering, well, Lucas, why did you pick a Glock? It's ergonomically horrible. It's aesthetically ugly. It's a plastic gun from another country. Why on earth would you pick this? Well, it's pretty simple. I don't pick a handgun based on its aesthetics or how it fits in my hand. And no, this gun does not fit in my hands very well. I have medium-sized hands, but it's still a box. I pick a handgun because of its reliability and effectiveness of actually shooting. That's ultimately what matters, not how it feels or how it looks. And you can't dispute that there's a, there are major reasons why the majority of special operations are issuing this pistol. And that this pistol can be found on most guys' hips all over the world in special operations and most law enforcement officers in America. And there are big reasons for that. This pistol is not the best pistol in terms of accuracy. It does not have the best trigger and it's definitely not the most ergonomic. However, I believe it is the most balanced over all of that, plus it's reliable and easy to maintain. And that's ultimately what's extremely important. So I see a lot of people that go, well, I wanna choose a handgun because of how it feels and how it feels in my hand. Well, in my opinion, if you have a somewhat normal hand and it's not really small or it's not really big and you have good fundamentals, you should be able to pick up any pistol and make it work. Every pistol has sights, generally, a barrel and a trigger. You should be able to shoot that pistol and how it feels in your hands isn't really what matters. What matters is how well you can actually shoot. This is a brand new pistol. I will show you, I, the copper is still inside. I haven't shot this pistol. This is a Glock. I've shot a lot of Glocks. I have a lot of Glocks. I've never had any issues. And I trust this pistol with my life. If I had to holster this up, load this up with plus P, ball ammo, holster it in a holster, I'd be perfectly confident carrying this out in public. And that's uh, how reliable Glocks are. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be shooting a cold start drill. It's gonna be six rounds static, six rounds on the move, and then six rounds running a little bit further back and then shooting about 18, uh, 19 yards. And we're gonna see if this gun fails miserably out of the box being completely brand new. And we will see what happens. So, without further ado, let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna be running one of our sidecars. He's gonna be purchased from T-Rex Arms. This is a dedicated appendix holster that has an extra magazine. This drill will requ require that I reload. I got six on this target, six on this target, six on the back, so 18 rounds. And these hold 17, so I'm gonna have to reload at least once uh, for at least one shot. So I'm gonna be running this rig for that. And starting here, I'm only about five yards from the target. This is just a speed test of six rounds of a build drill, shooting on the move, and then shooting distance. And we will see how that works. So, sidecar in the pants, belt clips. Pistol, magazine, source of feed. Good old 017. Never fired this pistol. So it's right out of the box, holstered up for a cold start drill. I will only shoot this once. You guys will see how I perform. All right. So there we go. Stock lock 17, no problems. Didn't fail. That was a total time of 14 flat. First shot in 105, not great. There's my shots at distance, three out, uh, I call that an alpha, it's good. Two Charlie, shots on the move. Moving fairly quick, one Charlie, five alpha. Now let's check this target right here. We've got one Charlie, so that's pretty good. So what we saw right there is a relatively in-depth cold start drill. I haven't done any warm-ups today. This is my, these were my first shots of today with pistol. So this is my performance right now, cold and on demand. If I were to draw a pistol in a shooting, home defense, responding to an active shooter, obviously stress and adrenaline would probably bring that down some, uh, but this is my level of ability and proficiency. Your level of proficiency isn't you at the end of a range day when you've had lots of time to warm up, it's right at the beginning. So definitely work cold start drills into your training. It's a great way of finding out what you need to work on. And on top of that, I was using a brand new pistol out of the box that hadn't been fired and it worked just fine. I didn't have any double feeds, no failure to fires. The sights were adequately zeroed where I could get good hits on these targets. And that's why I like Glock. It's reliable right out of the box. If I had to take this pistol, buy it at a gun store, put a mag of plus P or ball ammo into it, uh, carry it throughout the day and not be able to shoot or maybe for a week i'm fully confident that gun is going to work if i have to draw it in a, a shooting situation 
and a lethal encounter and it's going to work just fine and that's why i like glocks and i haven't found another pistol uh, that i really can trust my life with just as much as a glock and i own a lot of other guns i shoot a lot of other guns and people will say oh you're just a glock fanboy well no i want a handgun that is the most effective and the most reliable if you could show me another handgun that has the track record of a Glock that is just as good, that is just as easy to shoot, I will happily switch over and I will buy a lot of that handgun. I will use a lot of that handgun. The fact of the matter is, I just haven't found that yet. I'm also not sponsored by Glock. I'm not paid to say this. This is an unbiased opinion of someone who's been shooting these for four years, tens of thousands of rounds, and it works really well. So when you're choosing a weapon, make sure you get something that is a adequate weapon that is reliable. Don't just get a gun because of how it feels in your hands or because of aesthetics, or maybe just because of where it was made. No, get a pistol that will truly serve you as, a, as an effective weapon, and then get out there and train. I can't stress it enough. Training is ultimately what matters. You need to get out there, get good rounds in, find good instructors, get good training. Uh, you can train yourself, you can build a good perspective, you can watch professional shooters, you can see what they're doing. So definitely get out there, start putting in the work, and also, uh, buy a good pistol that you can trust your life with and trust the lives of everyone else that you're around because ultimately I carry a gun for not just myself I carry a gun for everyone else I'm around and if I have a crummy pistol that falls apart while I'm trying to respond to a situation that involves other individuals some people may die because my gun's falling apart so that's a big responsibility on my part to make sure I maintain my equipment and also have good equipment so that's something to think about until next time I'm Lucas Botkin <laughs>